Hey everyone, how's it going? As always, I hope you're doing wonderful. I hope your family is well, your friends, everyone you know. I hope you're all in good health and in good spirits. Um, you know, a lot of us have been following the story with the Titan and how it uh, went down on Sunday to go do the viewing of the Titanic. It had five passengers on board and less than, <clears throat> excuse me, less than two hours into the descent, they lost communication and we haven't heard from them since. And unfortunately, it said that they only had about 96 hours worth of air and they expect that they ran out today. And so that's very sad. <clears throat> Something that is interesting again is with the Simpsons. It seems that the Simpsons may have predicted something somewhat similar in one of their um, episodes way back in, oh man, 2006, in the 10th episode. They went down in a submersible, submersible, but there was two of them. And the story behind it I found interesting because it was Homer and the man that he thinks is his father, whose name, interestingly enough, is Mason Fairbanks. It's always got to be Masons involved, don't there? But you know what? That's another dig. We could talk about Masons another time. So anyway, it was interesting. But they had gone down to look for um, a treasure, a sunken treasure on a sunken ship. And then... Uh, what ends up happening is Homer somehow gets stuck in some coral and while he's down there he starts to lose consciousness because his oxygen levels are going low and then uh, he turns out to be okay because he wakes up three days later and finds himself in the hospital and so he made it. But another interesting connect with the Simpsons is a man named Mike Reese. So Mike Reese was the writer and the former showrunner for The Simpsons. Simpsons? The Simpsons. He was someone who uh, not only wrote on the show, but he has been on these ships before. He said that he traveled, I think it was on four different um Four different runs, he went out on these deep diving expeditions. So I find that really, really interesting. He, he uh, had done a couple interviews lately and he had said, I took four different dives with the company, one to the Titanic and three off, the, off of New York City. And he said that communications was lost, at least briefly, every single time and it said it just he said it just seemed to be baked into the system and he said i don't blame the submarine as much as i blame the deep water but you could always lose it and come back so this was something i guess that was on oops i just made my made my screen small whoops so he said this was something that was ongoing even back when he went on it so that's interesting so here's the his, his um thing that he has listed mike reese it's me mike reese four-time emmy award-winning writer and producer for the simpsons so another thing he said is that he was defending um ocean gate the company that runs the titans trips he said likening their deep sea exploration to space travel this is not to say that it's a shoddy ship or anything. It's just, just that this is an all new technology and they're learning it as they go along. You have to just remember the early days of the space program or the early days of aviation where you just make a lot of mistakes on the way to figuring out what you're doing. So I don't know, I found it interesting, more interesting connects between The Simpsons and events that seem to always take place. All right, everyone, that's it for now. Take care. Peace.